Nucleophilic acyl substitution is the primary reaction pathway undergone by carboxylic acid derivatives, especially acid chlorides, acid anhydrides, esters, and amides. These compounds all behave as electrophiles. That is, nucleophiles attack their pi star CO orbitals to create tetrahedral intermediates, which tend to collapse by a lone pair push to kick out the best leaving group. The first step in this reaction, nucleophilic addition to pi star CO, is usually pretty challenging. Delta G for that step is usually positive. But the more reactive the nucleophile, the higher ener energy its homo, or the more reactive the electrophile, the lower energy its lumo, pi star CO, the easier this step is. The second step, the lone pair push, occurs when a lone pair on the tetrahedral intermediate overlaps with one of the adjacent sigma star orbitals, either sigma star CR, sigma star C nucleophile, or sigma star CX, kicking out either R minus, NU minus, or X minus as a leaving group. If NU minus is kicked out, the tetrahedral intermediate just reverts back to the starting material. That's the reverse of the first step. But if R minus or X minus is kicked out, we make new products. We can tell which of these three possible fates of the tetrahedral intermediate is most likely by examining the stability of the three possible leaving groups. The stability of the leaving groups is measured by their conjugate acids pKa's. The lower the pKa of the leaving group's conjugate acid, the better the leaving group is. We can use pKa's as a proxy measure to determine whether a nucleophilic acyl substitution reaction is favorable or not by compare, comparing the pKa's of the conjugate acids of the original nucleophile and the leaving group. If the leaving group's conjugate acid has a lower pKa than the conjugate acid of the nucleophiles, than the conjugate acid of the nucleophile, then the overall reaction is probably spontaneous. Sometimes nucleophilic acyl substitution reactions involve additional steps, acid-base reactions that might facilitate one particular leaving group from leaving or hamper another from leaving. In the reaction of acid chlorides with amines, for instance, the nucleophilic attack produces a tetrahedral intermediate that looks like this. Since there are protons attached to this nitrogen, and those protons are relatively acidic, their pKa is about 9, this compound can be deprotonated by the amine, which is a weak base. This occurs rapidly and in equilibrium. The KEQ for this step is about 1, since the amine is deprotonating an ammonium ion. The chloride leaving group could be kicked out from either of these two intermediates. Chloride is a great leaving group. Regardless of the order of these steps, the nucleophilic amine needed to be deprotonated in order to give a neutral, uncharged amide as the product. Some nucleophilic acyl substitution reactions are very spontaneous, and they happen quite rapidly and readily. These reactions typically involve the most electrophilic of the carboxylic acid derivatives, acid chlorides and, and anhydrides, especially when they react with strong nucleophiles. Other nucleophilic acyl substitution reactions are non-spontaneous, and they just don't happen at all. The reaction of an amide with the chloride ion, for instance. Other nucleophilic acyl substitution reactions are somewhere in the middle. They may have delta G that's only slightly negative or near zero. These sorts of reactions may proceed forward, but they usually do so quite slowly, unless they are catalyzed. Catalysis by acid or base can speed these sorts of reactions up, and such catalysis is the subject of the following videos.